Today on Knife Banner, we're gonna talk Kershaw knives, and apparently, my hat's too dirty. Take a shower. How's it going guys and welcome to Knife Banner. Today we are talking some of the top Kershaw knives and uh, excited to be back in the studio, making sure that we're correctly distanced from one another. So Jamie is over here behind the scenes like he normally is. Howdy partner. But he's also gonna be talking knives with us, which is gonna be awesome. So jumping into the first knife that we have on the table, I think we have right around eight-ish knives. So let's just call this number eight and see what happens. <laughs> we have got the Kershaw Emerson. This is the CQC-6. Now, this is one of the top Kershaw knives um, for the last little while. And I think the big reason is, is because it's been on sale for a really long time, but it's also a pretty dang good knife. So you get the Emerson Wave, you get the thumb disc opener, um, nice two-way reversible pocket clip. It is a frame lock, which is really nice. Um, yeah, just kind of a smooth, smooth little knife all the way around. We had some other ones that were a little bit bigger. I can't remember what the name were on those. Jamie, do you remember? Uh, so there's a couple of different K versions, I guess. There's yeah. like the, I think there's like the 4K XL, which I actually have on my desk here, but so there's the 4K, the 6K, I think there's a 1K. So there's a, there's a few different versions. Yeah. So a few different version of the Ks of these kind of Kershaw Emerson collaborations. Um, but this, the CQC6, has been the one that has been hugely pop popular lately and currently on the website for $34.99. So kind of a cool little knife. Jimmy, have you ever carried a knife with a Emerson Wave on it? Um, so the official branding Emerson Wave, I yeah. have not. I have, so when I, I think my first real knife was a Cold Steel AK-47. Uh -huh. uh, it's like the Ultra Lock ones. Yeah, and yeah. that had uh, some sort of Wave-ish opening yeah. on it. So it's one of my first knives to have anything like that on it and you could just whip it out of your pocket and it would open right up. It was it was super cool. That's so cool. But. I've actually never carried a knife with a with a wave feature. Maybe I'll have to pick one of these CQC sixes up because they're pretty affordable and yeah. be kind of fun. It's so. a it's super interesting to be able to get that thing out of your pocket and just have it open immediately. And yeah. the, like there's no fiddling with thumb discs or thumb studs or flippers or whatever. So it, it's an interesting way to open a knife. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And and for you guys at home that don't know how the wave works, so you have the knife in, and that's why it that's why this knife is uh, tip up like this. So it comes up out of your pocket, and your pocket will catch that uh, wave, and then the knife will come open as you as you pull it out of your pocket. So. Kind of a cool, uh, yeah. kind of a cool deal. But I've never carried a knife with a wave. Let us know in the comments. I'm always interested to know like different pe people's carrying habits. Um, so the next one on the table, we're gonna call it number seven. Nope. Guys, I'm literally guessing. I can't remember how many were on the table. We're gonna call it number seven. <laughs> and this is the Kershaw Mini Natrix. Now, we picked the Copper Mini Natrix because this has been a hugely popular knife for good reason. Um, this is one of the first big run production knives that had these kind of um, raw copper scales to them. So you get awesome patinas. If you've carried one, you know what I mean. I have one, I've got an awesome patina on mine. It's got a D2 blade, kind of this really neat uh, Warncliffe blade, nice deep carry pocket clip. I believe they're calling this a sub frame lock um, on the, uh, it looks like a regular frame lock, but it's actually a sub frame lock. And so re it's, it's makes a lot of sense why the Copper Mini is the one that uh, has kind of stole the show, but the Copper Natrix or the Natrix line in general is also hugely popular for Kershaw. Jamie, don't you have an XL over there too? Yeah, Give so us like a size the, comparison. This is the XL. Let me see if I can open both of them actually. But So I've got the XL version and then the mini version um, of the two Natrixes. Uh, there's a size in between, obviously. Um, I, I don't know if we have it on the table. Yeah. Um, so XL, pretty big beefy boy. Mm. Beefy. Um, then, then the mini is, you know, a more elegant EDC. So I don't know. I kind of, I kind of dig the Natrix design. Um, it's kind of a throwback to that ZT Triple Seven that they had way back in the day. That's discontinued now, um, but it's basically a cheap uh, old Triple Seven ZT. Yeah, so exactly. It, yeah, it's, it's pretty it's, cool. It's, it's if you if you guys look at that old ZT design and look at the Natrix, it's basically the same knife. Um, mm -hmm. And that was intentional, that's what Kershaw did. Kershaw and ZT, same company. Kershaw's kind of the budget brand, ZT's kind of the more premium brand. Um, so I know a lot of people were excited on the Natrix just for that reason. But Jamie, you take issue with, now the Copper Natrix, like we said, this mm -hmm. one has been the most popular version of the Natrix models, um, but you take issue with the Copper. I know a lot of people like the Coppers and they like the brass. Um, I really am not a huge fan of the, kind of the heavier metals, if if you will, just because they're heavy. Like I. 
I tend not to like a lot of weight in my pocket. And when you throw copper on a knife, when you throw brass on a knife, it, it just adds a lot of weight. The patina is cool. Don't get me wrong. The patina is cool, but I just, I'm not a huge fan not, of it. Not worth the weight trade off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. For and sure. I think that's why I like the mini because you get the cool patina without the, you're not sacrificing a ton of weight, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So, I mean, there's other, you don't have to get a, a copper version of this. Like you can get, yeah. you can get the other version of the Natrix. So me personally, I would probably go with the, the G10 slash peel ply carbon fiber versions. For sure, for sure. Um, so yeah, so, and the copper mini Natrix goes for $62.95. Um, again, and this has been hugely popular knife for Kershaw lately. Um, as we were putting this together, a uh, knife that we were kind of, I don't know about you, Jamie, but I was surprised. Um, made it this on the lists already because it's a fairly new knife for Kershaw is the Kershaw Lucha. Now you guys have probably seen this once or twice here on Knife Banner. Um, pretty new knife from Kershaw. So uh, obviously Balasong. <laughs> it runs on bearings. Uh, it's got stainless steel handles. Um, apparently it flips really, really good, really good balance. Um, because it's on bearings, it's definitely a bit of, it's a little bit of a faster flipping knife, um, Balasong. But the thing that's awesome about this is you get all of that for $119.95. And this is also made in the United States, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's the, the Kershaw Lucha. I don't have a lot to say about it because I'm not a Balasong flipper, but definitely was surprised to see it this high on the list, to see it making kind of the, the you know, in the top knives for Kershaw right now. Uh, Jamie, any strong opinions on this either way? Yeah, so like, obviously I'm not a flipper either. Um, I think the big thing about this one was the price points. When we first heard about it at SHOT Show earlier this year, I, I kind of had that eyebrow raise like, oh, it's only gonna be 120 bucks or whatever to, for you know these materials and you know it's on bearings, you got a 14C 28N blade and all those fancy things. You know, 120 bucks, like there's not a lot of people pushing, you know, decent, like high quality Bella songs in that price range. So it got an eyebrow raise for me. Yeah, for sure. No, and it, and it really has. I mean, if, if guys, if we were basing this just off of what you guys have been buying in the last like two to three months, um, this knife would be like number two or three. Like you guys are buying these knives by the bolt loads, which says a lot about how good they are. Um, because with Bella songs, Bella songs are sink or swim. The Bella song community is an awesome community, very tight knit, very particular about what they're flipping because it's a sport for a lot of people. Like it's, it really is. It's more than just fidgeting. It's like high level competition happens in the Balasong world. And so for so many people to be buying these, so many people to be liking them, it says a lot about this design from Kershaw, knocking out of the park with their first try in a Balasong, which is pretty yeah. cool. Um, also pretty cool is Flytanium makes titanium scales that you can get for your Lucha. Now, um, I think the Flytanium scales cost more than the knife. <laughs> These yeah. are titanium, they lighten up the knife considerably, but I think that they go for like 140 bucks for the scales. Um, but if you want a really nice flipping knife and titanium scales, I mean, that would put you somewhere in that 260, 280 price range. Really, that's actually a really good price for a well-balanced, good flipping titanium handled knife balisong. <laughs> All right, um, next up is it might be my favorite knife on the table. Um, not for any particular reason other than it's a Frankenstein and I kind of love it. It's alive! <laughs> so next up is the Kershaw Barge. So the Kershaw Barge, this thing is, it's, it's made a couple appearances here on Knife Banner. This thing is just a workhorse. So you get this kind of short, stubby, worn cliff, utility style blade. You get this heavy duty um, pry bar on the back end. You get a couple of jimping spots along the back of the spine. And then I think it's a two-way reversible pocket clip uh, with tip down only carry option. So I think this knife is really, really cool. Um, you guys know I got a medium sized hand. It fits my hand obviously really well. This would fit a large hand, no problems at all. And uh, I don't know, Jamie, what, what, what are your feelings on this thing? You know, I think the, there's a few things that stand out, like the blade to handle ratio is is one of them, right? I always thought that this knife, especially for $14, is like a perfect beater knife because you get so much handle and you kind of get a pretty stout blade for just, I mean, you need to dig into something, you need to, you know, hack at a piece of wood, whatever. Like there's a lot of knife here to go about and just beat on it. So I think that's probably the my main takeaway from the barge is just like, I feel like you just do some work with this thing. Oh yeah, and that's it. It's it, it's exactly what it is, a beater knife. And and uh, you led into the thing that is most impressive about this knife, and that is this knife goes for $14. Like, I don't know if you can find another $14 knife that you can trust to beat up this much. 
it's also a frame lock. So like, not only is it super utility blade, not only does it have this super heavy duty pry bar, really nice big handle, it's a frame lock as well. So for $14, if you know a $14 knife that can beat this knife in hard work, let me know. I wanna, I wanna test the two, I'm gonna compare the two, but uh, Kershaw Barge, pretty dang sweet. Um, I like the different jimping points, so you can have you know detailed work, or you can just have a nice good handle to it, or a nice good hold to it. And you know me, I harp on the blade to handle ratio on knives pr pretty often, but on this knife, I think it works, right? Yeah, because it, it's it serves a purpose, right? Mm -hmm, like exactly. It's not just it's not just a ton of handle for no reason. Like, yeah, there, there's a reason. for There's it a reason there. for it. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. So cool knife from Kershaw. That would be knife number. If I'm just guessing, what is that? Number five? Number four? Something? <laughs> I've lost <laughs> count already. I don't know. <laughs> lost count already. <laughs> All right, um, so next up on top Kershaw knives is the Kershaw Link. Now this particular one is M390 version with aluminum handles. Um, it's got a two-way reversible deep carry pocket clip made in the USA. And uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know much, much more to say about it. Just really, really good design. It is assisted, so it's got the speed safe assist. Um, we're gonna be talking about the leak on the table. Obviously you can't talk about top Kershaw knives and not talk about the leak. So we'll jump into speed safe a little bit on that knife. Um, but nice assisted knife, really great size. And the thing, like the barge, bang for your buck, um, for 80 bucks, you're getting an aluminum frame and M390. And this actually, M390 20CV, this particular one is specifically 20CV. Yeah. M390 20CV is basically- There the was one. an M391 at one point, yeah. I, I do believe. Yeah, yeah, there was. And then same thing with the Kershaw Dividend, um, but the link is definitely much more popular than the Dividend. So, um, Man, I just don't know what else I can say about this knife other than, honestly, a really, really good mid-sized knife that you can just do whatever you want with and not have to worry about for, at 80 bucks. We did a video, was it last week's video? I can't remember, um, where we did, you know, uh, price to steel category. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and this made it onto it. And I, I said we talk about the link a lot, but we don't show the link a lot. Um, so I'm glad it's gotten on a few episodes here. But I said I related in that episode that these are very similar in shape. If you took like a launch one and made it a flipper, like an assisted flipper, you basically get a link. So if you like the launch one, if you like the launch series, these are very similar materials and build quality to the launch series. And we all know that those are fantastic knives. Yep, exactly. No, and that's a great comparison. Launch one is definitely like the size that this thing comes in at. Um, so yeah, cool, cool knife from, uh, from Kershaw. Yeah, and, and if you want like, if you want a different color link, if you want a different link in a different steel, there's a bunch of different varieties too. Like I'm looking here, and there's at least nine different ones uh, yeah. that we have on the site right now. So yeah, exactly, and that's something that's really neat about the link. And speaking of a bunch of different varieties, going into the leak, it's that dang leak again. Got it. So uh, obviously we can't talk about uh, top Kershaw knives, best Kershaw knives without talking about the leak. So this is the Kershaw leak, Canon design. Um, this particular one is a carbon, a glow in the dark carbon fiber uh, inlay, which is kind of cool. Just like the one that we grabbed, which we thought was kind of cool to show off. Um, kind of a newer knife from Kershaw in the leak, but um, Jamie, you were looking earlier, didn't you say there was like 30 different versions of this yeah, knife? Yeah, there's, I mean, depending on what we have in stock at any given time, there's 25 to 30 of these, um, and you can get these things in different blade steels, different colors, different handle materials, you know, serrated, non-serrated, you can composite blades. There's so many different options for, to, to customize this to you, essentially, for the leak, like, it, it's a fantastic option. Yeah, and, and that's the thing is, is when you talk about, like, EDC staples in the Kershaw lineup, uh, leak is, is number one. Number one, no questions asked. Again, uh, this is a Ken Onion design, and Ken Onion actually, if you don't know, he actually invented the entire assisted knives category. So speed safe is what um, Kershaw calls it, and that's uh, Ken Onion. So if you've ever owned an assisted knife, you can thank Ken Onion literally for inventing the assisted knife opening stuff, which is pretty cool. He has some cool stories about um, some people heard that he was like developing, you know, switch blades, right? Like uh, assisted knives. And so he actually had people like show up and be like, we're gonna confiscate everything. You know, you're making switch blades. He's like, no, 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 no. Like this is, according to the law, this is completely legal. And uh, that's kind of where the assisted knife was born from. So kind of a cool thing. And the leak is, I mean, I, can you think of a more iconic assisted knife than the leak? 
Uh, it'd, be, it'd be hard. Yeah. It's like you just look at the amount of leaks that there are. Um, yeah. It's, yeah, it'd be hard to press to do that. Yeah, exactly. So um, really cool knife uh, from Kershaw. And it's one of those knives that you almost, as a knife guy, you just have to have one to be like, oh yeah, no, I've carried. I carried a Kershaw leak. And then this is the, the plain Jane normal version. So the glow in the dark one, that particular one we showed, it goes for $99 on the website. I think they're actually on sale right now. Always check the website for current pricing. Um, and then the stainless steel version goes for $44.95. So tons of different uh, price ranges, tons of different uh, materials. So, I mean, really just choose your flavor and, and enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the main draw of the leak is there's just so many versions yeah, of so it. Yeah, so many you different versions. You get whatever you yeah. want. You know, and the leak is a knife that, like I said, I think every knife guy should have. I actually need to pick one up because I've never carried one. It just, you know, one, I'm not an assisted guy, and and two, the I just feel like I'm gonna I'll break the end of that knife off in like the first time I use it. So it's definitely for specific uses. It is. It is. <laughs> and kind of neat. It was. It's. It's kind of a not kind of. I mean, this is full on a gentleman's knife before that category. Before people were even saying that, right? Like this is full on like a perfect simple slender carry knife. Mm -hmm. um, all right, and so next up is the Kershaw Shuffle. So when we're talking top Kershaw knives, of course, we can't have that conversation without talking about the Shuffle. Um, this is the Shuffle 1, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, the Shuffle 1. There is a Shuffle 2. I'm partial to the Shuffle 1 personally. Uh, so this is GFN Handles, uh, 8CR blade on this one, I couldn't remember. 8CR blade, deep carry pocket clip, and just a lot of utility for such a little guy. You know what I mean? You get this like pry, this pry end that's like a legitimate you could use it pry end. You get the bottle opener, and then you know you get a nice for a medium sized hand. You get a nice three fingers on there, no problem. You could throw a lanyard on that thing and get a nice four fingers, no problem at all. And then you got this nice forward choil, so you could get a full four fingers on it if you wanted to choke up like that as well. So yeah. really cool knife. I think the shuffle is great for depending on what flavor you get. Uh, this one currently is sixteen ninety five. Like yeah. they go anywhere from fifteen bucks to twenty bucks. Um, but I think just speaking to Kershaw as a whole, they have so many good options in that 15 to 20, like we're talking about the barge, we've got, there's like the three quarter ton, there's the shuffle, there's a the shuffle two. There's a ton of really good options for less than $20. And I think that's what Kershaw does really well. Yeah, and that's what I was gonna say. I think that Kershaw is, out of all the manufacturers that I have a lot of experience with, I mean, there's, there's you know, certain budget manufacturers that, you know, they have like one model that's just like a standout, incredible model. But I think with Kershaw, you get through the line starting at, was that barge, 15, 14 bucks? Starting at 14 bucks all the way up into that $100, $120 range, you're gonna find something awesome anywhere in that price range from Kershaw. And um, with a lot of utility too. That's what I love, especially about these lower end knives, like yeah. bottle opener, pry tip, good working blade, deep carry pocket clip, same with the barge, right? Like just, a lot of utility. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Um, super cool knives. Um, all right, so uh, number one on the list. I don't know how many there actually are. We're on the table. Let's count them now. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Because uh, we're going to count these last two as one knife. Um, when we're talking top Kershaws, for sure, the launch series. The launch series is the number one type of Kershaw knife that you guys buy, specifically uh, the Launch 4, which I'm sure comes as no surprise. Um, I hear that this is a California legal sized blade, uh, nice snappy auto, made in the United States. Um, yeah, just a lot of people love this knife for good reason. And these go for like 80 bucks on the website. So again, really cool little knife. Um, I've got two variations, carry them often, really great. One that is a bit of a surprise, kind of like the Lucha, is the Launch 11. And yeah. not a surprise in that uh, it de deserves a spot on the table because this is an incredible knife and my favorite launch. Um, but kind of a surprise because it's so new. Um, but you guys have just been buying these in droves, like, and for good reason. Really, really good knife. Saw it at SHOT Show for the first time this year. I was talking to some people at uh, the Kershaw ZT booth. And I mentioned that you kind of either had the Launch 4 size, which was, you know, the super small California legal, or then you had like the Launch 6 and then Launch 1. Like there's these really big launch knives and really small launch knives, and there was nothing really in between. And this seems to be the first launch knife that's kind of that in-between size. It's just a nice EDC size. And I think that's why it's done so well. And plus the design, the shape, the way it feels in hand um, is also yeah. know, positive about that too. Well, and then the, just the, the the finishes, right? So you get this like really cool stone washed finished blade, you get this nice brass accent. I mean, just everything about this knife was just really well thought out, right? Yeah, for um, sure. And in all the launch series, and we say it all the time, all the launch series are absolutely incredible. 
To be honest, dude, we should probably sit down and just do a video on the launch knives. <laughs> what are there, 12? Is there 12 of them I now? think there's 12, 12 now, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot. Guys, let us know down in the comments. If you wanna see a comprehensive blow through of all the launch series, let us know. Um, I think we need to do it. I think we need to sit down size comparisons, steel probably. comparisons, the whole thing, right? So many more launches now. Yeah, there really are, there's a ton. So keep your eye out for that in the future, but let us know in the comments um, because if you guys wanna see it, of course we're gonna make it happen. <laughs> But uh, yeah, Launch 11 is great, but the Launch Series in general, so they're all made in the United States, they have an incredible warranty, and these are the two top sellers, so the 4 and the 11 are the two top sellers in the Launch Series, but I, you can't go wrong. I don't think that there is a single launch knife that I wouldn't enjoy to own. I think yeah. all of them are good, right? Yeah. I think for me, like, the Launch 11 is one of my favorites. I really enjoyed the Launch 1 as well. I actually owned a Launch 1 for a while, um, so those two are probably my favorites, but like, Pick your flavor, man. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And that's and that's kind of the, the moral of the story with Kershaw Knives, again, is they've got something for everyone. Um, I mean, they even make like fixed blades and stuff. There's, none of them were uh, deserving of a top spot on the table today, but yeah, they make something for everyone. Yeah, well, especially in the launch series, you can get an individual launch in a bunch of different colors, and then you can get, uh, what are there, 12 different types of launches? Yep. So, <laughs> yeah, like I said, pick your flavor. Yeah, exactly, and we have exclusives in a lot of the different models. I heard a rumor that we might have a Launch 11 exclusive headed mm, this way, someday hot. maybe. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, oh, and the Launch 11 goes for $99.95 on the website, and the Launch 4 goes for $79.95 on the website. So, um, yeah, keeping right in line with that kind of Kershaw philosophy of giving you a lot of bang for your buck. So I think what we have on the table is a great representation of what Kershaw offers. These are the ones that you guys talk about the most. These are the ones that you guys buy the most. Um, but by no means is this an exhaustive list of what you can find in the Kershaw category. So make sure to jump over to the website and check it out. Uh, Jamie, thanks for being here bet. at a nice appropriate distance. <laughs> it's been a blast. <laughs> And thank you guys for following along. Uh, please consider hitting subscribe for more awesome knife content and catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching this video, guys. We really appreciate it. If you want more awesome knife content, make sure to subscribe to Blade HQ. Check out all of our awesome playlists. We've got like hundreds of awesome knife videos here on the old YouTubes. And of course, check out bladehq.com for all of your knife needs. Catch you on the next one.